topics. Today, we are blessed to present one of these insightful lectures entitled Understand Emotional Ties and Transcend Karma, Part 1 of 5, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on March 1, 2005, in Hungary.呃我有两个问题一个是今天早上打坐的是一个体验一个呢就是关于另外我的一个孩子小同修的问题哈呃今天早上打坐的时候很早的时候我有一个体验就是说看到一个很亮很长的一个隧道嗯非常非常的亮
they're clean, but because it's so subtle, it go slowly, you know? So even you arrive there, you don't feel it. Understand? Not much. So I have to tell them. <laughs> and then they will realize that they will um, try to concentrate in that, and then they will realize better. It's like the people who just became a doctor, he's too busy. Yeah? Too busy to realize that he's a doctor, eh? But after a while he worked in the hospital and everything settled down and then he has money from his job and then he really realized that it's, you know, he knows he's a doctor but it's difficult for him to have, have a feeling, yeah? Oh, never mind, never mind. But they will know if they lose it. That's the thing. <laughs> they will know that they lose it when, whenever they lost the Buddhahood or the level go down, they know it. Okay. Okay, just like you have a driver's license for a long time, you don't always sit here and know that you have a driver's license, no? But you know for sure when the police took it away, yeah? <laughs> when you lost it, then you know, oh my God, my driver's license. <laughs> Otherwise, you have it all the time here in your pocket and you never even think about it. No big deal. You become Buddha, no big deal. Yeah, next. Uh, Master, the phrase that you taught us, um, the gift. Um, the other day before I slept, I could, I could feel the whole cosmos, all, all singing that phrase. Yes, yes, yes. And every particle and triggering it more and more and more. Uh, Correct. Before I fell asleep. Uh, and uh, I was just thinking that's some amazing thing, isn't it? I mean, can you, Very powerful. do you want to tell us a little bit more about that, why you should concentrate a little bit more? No. Look, what, that, else? what else to tell you? That will really lift the, the universe, right? Yeah. Completely. It does. Um, the other thing was what for? I teach you if it doesn't no, waste amazing. your time. Uh, yeah. no, no. Uh, no, it's important. Then now I know that that's, I, I'm trying to say that phrase as much as possible whenever I can. You should. The other thing was um, yeah. the laws of different levels, but I was thinking about our physical level. Who's the Lord of that? Is, is there, a there is a Lord of physical. Oh, is there? He's appointed. Right. By uh, the astral law. All right. That's just big any human. Right, because we need someone accountable to complain to, right? And say, look, hey, what a mess. He knows, he knows. What are you troubling our master for with all yeah, this Maya stuff? So all the physical level people, when they pray, mostly it's the Lord of the physical world responds to them. Ah. And any astro being prayed, then the, they pray to the Lord of the astro. He's responsible and he will respond accordingly. Okay. Yeah. Yesterday, I didn't hear your speech, but the stuff you were telling us about um, the obstructions from the Maya and everything, and I really felt angry, and I I just felt that it wasn't fair mm. that they should they shouldn't be allowed to treat you like that. They mm. shouldn't they shouldn't do it out of respect. Mm. But uh, you also have intelligence, no? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. I hope so. Like I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's not just him. Yeah. It goes two ways. Yeah. You you should use your uh, gut. Power. You have more power than he has, yeah, yeah. but you are higher than him. And if you listen to a lower person, that's also your problem. Yeah. But nevertheless, uh, God's always merciful. He forgives you and always sends somebody to help you out. Yeah. So he knows you're just children and don't know much. Okay? Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully you really don't know much. <laughs> All right. Sometimes you self-deserve also can't just blame the guy. The humans have all kind of teachings since time immemorial. No? You have Buddhist teacher, you have, you have at least the Bible, the Buddhist uh, Sutra, and in every uh, uh, Bible or uh, holy teaching tell you what to do, at least the moral, physical moral, but the human don't listen. I don't think it's because we're bad. I think it's because God is very abstract and physical things are easy to see. We've been brainwashed with that since we were born. Yeah, but not to go walk over somebody else's head to attain something, not stealing from the brother when you don't need, yeah. not killing somebody else when just for smoking. I think that's also bad. I think the worst thing is when we forget Master's power, God's power, we just rely on physical means to solve a problem and suffer a lot. Yeah, we all know. So what are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Any more? No? 
for you uh, it's easy, huh? Just give the five precepts, meditate, say the five names, remember the gift, and go straight up. Sooner or later, nothing can stop you now. Nothing can tempt you anymore. Nothing you want even to go near. When you recite these uh, phrases I taught you, nothing go near. What's going on with your dog now? Uh, is he inside yeah. or outside? Doesn't matter, but no, keep warm. This is for, uh, for the heart. For the heart only? Yeah. Oh. oh, wonderful. The special dog food. Oh, good, good. You see, he needs some care. Eh? And even if you don't bring him inside, you make a big house for him and put a little heater in there or something. The safe heater, no? Take care of him. Do not think he's just an animal because you will lose points if you don't. Uh, love is an uh, important thing in spiritual practice, yeah? And love has to translate into physical action. And if you don't do it, then you're not worth a saint. And that's why it's deducted. Not because the dog do something or karma or anything. You have to prove that you're worth your title. Do it, all right? Next one. No, huh? Okay. We wait for a little water and then we meditate. You're going? No. I did. What happened? He wants to stay on the friendship basis. That's it? Yeah. I know. This is what you said. Okay, good. Yeah. Then just bye-bye, okay? Yeah. Find someone else. Don't, don't keep hoping, all right? I know. You're in love with him, but he's not. It happens sometimes like that, okay? Now, at least you know what it is, okay? Don't bother having a friend with him Forget altogether. What kind of friend? <laughs> what kind of woman and a friend? Dating each other for a while and then become a friend. What kind of friend? Is that? Huh? Maybe one nice then, two nice then, two hundred nice then, but not a friend. Yeah? Forget him. He's not bad, but he, he was, he's not honest. Understand? Yeah? I'm honest towards others, so I was towards you. Okay, now you know, eh? Forget it, okay? Not everyone we love will return our love. It's like, c'est la vie. Ça va? <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. There you are. <laughs> we have so small blanket. No, it's big one. It's a big one. Oh, it's big one? Yeah. yeah. Good, good. Good, good, good. Sometimes it's not love, you know, but you're more loyal, that's why. You see? You know, you're too loyal. <laughs> Sometimes because you don't have a boyfriend for a long time, and then you met him, yeah, and then he seems to be a gentleman, nah? So you just give your heart away because you don't have anybody else. But doesn't mean he, he's for you, doesn't mean he's a good guy, okay? And sometimes he uses that, and I don't like that, okay? But you have to know, okay? I know it before you tell me, but I don't want to tell you, no? You have to find out yourself, eh? Uh-huh. Uh, the situation as it stands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I knew already he, he's not sincere with you, eh? He's not very sincere with you. He wasn't. Doesn't matter, okay? Affinity, you know? Sometimes the enemy, they come back, they hurt you in different ways. They don't always use knife. Them. Yeah, or whip. They use different ways to hurt you. Okay? In the form of love, a lot of people use it to hurt each other. Huh? It's just one of those guys. One of your enemy in the past. Yeah? Okay? But you're lucky you're not with him. Otherwise, he might hold hand with some other girl and hang around you and you feel even worse. Understand this? So you feel good already that. You separated, you don't even know what he's doing. Of course, it's, uh, you miss him, uh, but you can get over better. Understand this? So you're good. 